Welcome to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at YouTube TV versus Fubo. These are two of the larger well-known live TV streaming services on the market. They offer channels including Locals, ESPN, NFL Network, and more. There's a few catches, few differences, but more importantly, we're going to be looking at how do they actually work, what's the user interface like, and is it going to be something you want to use? Now, they have the channels you want. It comes really down to user experience on it. So we're going to be going ahead ahead of these and showing you which ones may be a right fit for you. Now, there are other services with Hulu being one right here. Um, and we'll be doing head aheads of those later. So make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up so you let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here and you can get notifications when we add more videos like this one. So with that said, let's dive into it, starting off with uh, Fubo. So Fubo is a live TV service. One of the big sound points of Fubo is it offer, also offers many RSNs. Now this is the channel guide, but let's go uh, back to the home screen real quick here. So this is the home screen when you first launch it. This is what you typically would see. I had opened it earlier, so I was remembering where I left off. You do have live here, where it recommends this channels based on your recent viewing history. Then you do have other spotlighted content and more on the home screen. But the good news is they do have a guide here. You can also search, for example, if I just wanna see sports. Hey, take me to all the sports content. Here is all the upcoming and live sports right now with this all in one spot, really nice. And they also have that for shows, movies, but you probably wanna check out the guide. Now the guide here is a traditional cable guide. I really do love how they over here on the side do have the ability to offer um, categories. For example, you got trending channels, just um, added entertainment, news, lifestyle, and more all in one spot with this. But then you can go over here and you can scroll down through a ton of channels with it. You see Bally Sports, my local, um, RSN here is included with it all in one spot. So very nice option here. You can also scroll into the future and more and see what's coming up. And if I wanted to record this show, I can do that right here. Let's just um, record episodes or, or this episode or rec record the entire series, which is something nice with it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then your my stuff here is where you would find recorded DVR program and more and I have a thousand hours of DVR with this, for example. But what about YouTube TV? So that's the user interface, has all those recommended channels, you can sort it by sports and just see all the sports content or movies or television shows. You have a DVR with it, limited to a thousand hours on my plan, check your plan when you sign up for it. But what about YouTube TV? Very similar in a lot of the respects, but a few key differences. So let's dive into this and take a look at it here as soon as it loads with it. So um, with this here, YouTube TV offers a logo. It offers a logo. No, it offers a very similar home screen, but you can also create profiles, which is a nice feature here. And then in here, you have the traditional uh, guide included with it, a DVR library for your on-demand and safe content. Here we go. It's for some reason decided to take forever today. So YouTube TV does have NFL Sunday Ticket. Big thing they're promoting right now is NFL Sunday Ticket, its ability to watch that. Um, you can subscribe at a special deal. It may not be available when you watch this. But then you got the home row here where you can go through and recommend it both on demand and live stuff. If it's live, you got this right here. It says, hey, NFL Network, there was a big game last night. Preseason started. I can watch a replay of that, some golf. I can resume watching different things I was doing. I can go down and keep going. Check out upcoming games here on the home screen. And then there is a cool feature here that's available on Roku and other devices. Fubo also has this rolling out to more devices, but it's also available um, on Apple TV for Fubo right now. But you can see here, I can get different news channels all grouped up, different sports channels, head to head to some. Hey, weather, two different weather options. Um, the weather channel, Fox weather, major hurricane happened. That's kind of a cool one. This will update and change. When major sporting events are happening, they will roll out a option there to watch it on um, different ones. But you just scroll down to find that. It's available on all um, uh, YouTube TV supported devices, but you don't get to pick the channels, they create the channels and then you pick which one you want. You do get to pick which audio feature you want on it. So let's go check out the, the um, live guide here. So with this, you got the ability to have a traditional live guide, which is really nice. Very similar to the Fubo one. Hey, suddenly it all wants to work great. I won't blame my internet on that. But you can see different things. Again, if I want to say, hey, I like Friends. Uh, I don't actually want to watch it. Let's not get a copyright complaint. There we go. Uh, let's go say, I want to uh, 
check out friends. I can add it to my library and then it will record all episodes. Interesting here, I can't record just one. It's re um, record all. I can also set mobile reminders to get alerts on my phone. That, hey, I never want to miss a friends episode, for example. So really nice feature there uh, with that. Let's go um, here and then check out the DVR section. So this is a cool little feature here. You got um, all your library content, DVR content in one spot, recently watched stuff. You can go down to sports here. You see I got some grandparents that were in town um, using my TV and then different categories here. You can also go up here and sort it why most watch scheduled series, movies, days, sports, whatever. You can find all kinds of different ways to do it. Few big differences. YouTube TV does not have all local RSNs, it doesn't have most of them. Fubo does, there is a RSN feed to add on top of their listing depending on where you live. Fubo and Apple TV does allow you to create which channels you would like to have um, multi-view of. YouTube TV just gives you pre-selected ones. Fubo is expanding its um, lineup of, of multi-views. It's similar to YouTube TV to more devices, but Fubo then picks which channels. Again, major sporting events, you may find um, WNBA basketball on uh, YouTube TV. Their League Pass has the ability to watch multiple WNBA basketball games at one time, for example. Overall, I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one. YouTube TV has an unlimited DVR, but it only keeps it for nine months. Fubo has a limited DVR, but you can keep them as long as you want, uh, which is cool. Some people may want to keep a particular event. Both offer DVR, both offer on-demand content, both have similar but different channel lineups. And I'll put a link to a post down below and in the first pinned comment with all the channels that both services have right now. But overall, I don't think you'll go wrong with either one. They are excellent options. Depends on which one you fits your needs best or maybe offers channels you want. If our sins are really important to you, Fubo may be what you want. If NFL Sunday Ticket is really important to you, YouTube TV may be what you want and more. So there you go. I hope this video helped you. If it did, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So hopefully they recommend our videos to more people, helping us grow, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of TV, but still watch the shows you enjoy.